to my YouTube channel. My name is Shewa, and if this is the first time stopping by, please subscribe, like, comment, and share this video. So today I am going to talk about my favorite movies, my top five favorite movies of all times. This is a movie that I've really, really enjoyed and I've watched over and over and over again. Um, I'm a very, I'm a movie person. That's what I would say. I love movies. I love watching movies. I love going to the cinemas. Mostly, I would prefer watching movies on my laptop or my bed, but yeah, I'm a movie, I'm a movie person. So, um, in no particular order, I'm going to just start. The first movie on my list would be Pearl Harbor. Pearl Harbor, it's it's a movie I watched while I was in secondary school, so and it was interesting. I think I don't even love this movie the way my sister loves this movie. My sister can literally be watching the movie and be saying it word for word. That's how many times she has watched the movie. I love the movie so much. It was a different setting. It was so interesting. That's all I can say about the movie. Yes, Pearl Harbor. I can't really remember the names of the actors that were there or the time it was done on directors, but I just thought that movie was a really good one. And I've been itching to watch it to watch it again, but I've not had the opportunity to find the movie anywhere. Maybe I'll check YouTube. Yeah, I'm not checking YouTube, so. Okay, next up is Blood Diamond. Gosh, this movie, I watched it a while ago too, and I've not been opportunity to actually watch it again, but it's a movie that I knew the first time I watched it, it was a great one. We had the RC, RUF or something like that. We had Leonardo DiCaprio. It was so interesting, guys. I think it was set in Sierra Leone, and there was a lot going on in the movie, and it was definitely one to watch if i find the movie somewhere else i would definitely watch it and if you've watched this movie please tell me what you guys think about these movies next up i have is diamond ring this diamond ring is a movie that was shot by tade Ogindo. it's a nigerian movie and it was the bomb <laughs> it was the best movie i watched when i was growing up i love a lot of tade Ogindo's movies full of movies and um that one, want two day learning movies they were always the bomb and diamond ring i mean was it that diamond ring yes was about a young girl a young guy um chidi okay chidi actually joined the cult and one of the initiation rites was actually for him to go and steal from a cops so he did all that and unknown to him the cops was you know seeking revenge it was kind of like a nigerian horror movie but it was so interesting the cops came and gave them eight days to find a ring and return it back to her meanwhile chidi already sold the ring and it was a roller coaster moving from places to places we had um casting the movie was richard richard Moffat damage who was chidi's father he played D chief dk we had slash Bale, who was chief dk's wife we had um Tedju baby face god that guy it was a really good one Buki Ajayi, you know, Liz Benson was the ghost and it was the bomb. It made our childhood then. It was so interesting. It was horror. So we're watching it and we'll get scared when we're sleeping at night. It was it was that deep. Next is me before you. I've watched this movie a lot. And I wouldn't really say I, I love the ending of the movie. I was okay i can be kind of like romantic or enjoy romantic movies i was hoping that the guy would get better you know be able to walk again but apparently no it didn't happen that way it ended up dying it was so so touching emilia clark was in the movie i can't remember the guy's name but it was a different setting i love the use of colors in that movie i love the use of colors what she was always her costume was top notch guys her costume was always i loved her costume it was kind of like i wouldn't say childish but it was just very very pretty yeah it was pretty and cute i loved everything about that movie and i always watch it again and again and again though i would always say i don't like the ending i don't like that guy died but that is just the way the movie was and it was still a good one for me now the final movie on my list is drum rolls harry potter come on guys who doesn't love who would not like harry potter harry potter is a movie that i actually read the book seven books i read the, the books twice or three times i've read the books three times or so and watching the movie i have repeated the fact the movie itself got tired for me so do i watch them i know it's like um um what's the word it's fantasy and you know at some point when i was going to actually believe that you know i'm gonna go to school of magic but oh well don't come to nigeria so i actually love harry potter a lot of people are harry potter fans and i actually enjoyed the movie a lot i won't say like i'm a die hard fan i don't do all this 
um, grief reader, blah 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 things. But I really really enjoyed the movie. I always I always try to imagine how J.K. Rowling came up with the story, how she thought of everything, the names, the magical tricks. How did she do that? I usually wonder how she thought of everything and put everything together and how the directors the cast all brought everything to life i really used to wonder and imagine what she thought that led to her to think that made her to, to write a kind of story so but i can't really understand the man i mean sitting down anyway let me just stop let me just stop that right there but sitting down and actually bringing out all those names the storylines everything it was really really huge for me and i still enjoyed the movie now it's still on my laptop and i'll still watch it some other time again so yes i like my five movies that i really really enjoyed and this is a movie that i know that i would definitely watch again and i would absolutely enjoy it now if you've watched any of these movies you can tell me your thoughts and you know what what you thought about these movies and where i can find blood diamond and pearl arbor and what again i think those are the two like i haven't really watched again like regularly because I don't have them anymore and um, you can also tell me your top five movies of all times I mean I love a lot of movies I love a lot of movies but like right now these are the top five off my head I can really think of and I said yes these are the good ones and if you have your top five movies tell me in the comment section let's interact let us share our movie if you're a movie person let me know in the comment section and i'll be sure to reply every comment and this is officially the end of this video thank you guys for sticking around if you watch this video to this part to this plot to this place and my real mvp you know thank you so much for watching this video and please remember to subscribe like comment and share this video and i will see you all in my next video bye